The human rat mind meld has finally been achieved. Wait, what? A team of scientists at Harvard have created an interface linking the minds of human and rat subjects. In their words, establishing a functional link between the brains of different species, thus creating a brain-to-brain -brain interface. The test involves a human volunteer, an anesthetized rat that I hope is not as huge as it looks in this video, and a bunch of equipment including an EEG headset, a computer, and a transcranial focused ultrasound. The technique is non-invasive, meaning that there are no implants or surgery involved. Instead, participants wear EEG headgear that can detect brain waves generated by a particular pattern shown on the screen. An intermediary computer converts that data into electronic signals, which then travels to an ultrasound device that activates the part of the rat's brain that does that. And there you have it, the kind of cross-species mind meld we haven't seen since, well, the last Dr. Doolittle. Why do dogs sniff each other? That's just kind of our way of shaking hands. The study doesn't say what would happen if it were the rats in control, but I'm guessing they wouldn't get quite as many volunteers for that study. And this isn't the only recent example of scientists messing with rodents' minds in the most literal possible way. A team at MIT figured out how to implant false memories in mice, specifically of having been shocked in a location where they hadn't been. The successful memory implant could provide insight on how memory works in humans, as well as on certain types of mental illness like schizophrenia. So given these developments in brain-computer transmissions, could the matrix tricks be too far off or the world of eternal sunshine of the spotless mind where characters can choose to erase memories? Maybe, maybe not. But as researcher Dr. Tonagawa of MIT points out to the New York Times, one big objective of the research is to make people realize more than ever how unreliable human memory is. So the question is, what animal would you want to mind meld with if it were possible and why? Or if you want to tell me an embarrassing memory you'd like to have erased, let us know in the comments. I'm all ears. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the show notes below on how you can win free stuff when we hit 100,000 subscribers. For TFM, this is Annie.